Whoa, hey! How are you guys doing today? I bet you didn't expect to see me a second time today. Well, I figured I'd do a quick video. I'm gonna put this... Okay. Skip's rolling in big time. We're gonna... I got a power mic here. And it's wired for one of those old antique CDs. I'll show you this in just a second. We're gonna wire this up for a four pin, like a Cobra Galaxy unit in radials. So I'm gonna help you out and we're just gonna show you the pin out. I'll give you the pin out, the color. Sometimes the colors don't, I'll explain all that later. You know, it could be because I'm all juiced up on my black rifle coffee. <laughs> I love that stuff. Anyway, it's not a promotion. It's just, that's what I like to drink. Yeah. Anyway, let's get into this thing. Uh, whoa! All right, guys, now what we have is this, it's an Olsen MK160 amplified microphone. And the battery is actually still good in there. You can see it lighting up. But I have no way of testing this. I don't think I have a mic tester. You know what? I might. Hang on one second here, guys. I might have an adapter. Oh, look at there. Do I? Get the finger licking good chicken out of here. Wow, look at that. I can't believe I actually have an adapter. Well, this adapter goes to a four pin, but who knows if this is a, uh, let me turn this radio down, guys, sorry about that. Like I said, Skip's coming in. Uh, let's check this out real quick. Hey, got the mic tester out here. Turn that on. Let's check the, is it a Cobra? Looks like Cobra. Oof. Scratchy. Eh, <laughs> it sounds pretty bad. Well, we're not even going to bother. Now it's all jammed in here. Okay. Just for the fun of it, let's just try the mid one. I doubt it. Yep. This was probably meant for four pin. So, yeah, that's garbage. It could be reworked, but I mean, what am I ever going to use that for? So, all right, let's get uh, let's get this little bugger off right here. All right, you're going to need a Phillips here. Takes this off for this style. Uh, fastener anyhow you don't want to take that off and I do believe it just pushes right out you know I'm gonna have to back up a little bit here sorry about that guys and it pushes right out just like that that looks like it's pretty well twisted in there too I want to get it out just enough to have workspace here so Now, what you're gonna wanna do, if you do have this style on here, just go ahead and bend this off. Take a pair of wire cutters, whatever, bend that open. And then desolder all these. Just go ahead and desolder all this, which that's what I'm gonna do right now. And then we're gonna pull this, all this stuff off. We don't need any of this, so all this is coming off. Right now here, I think it's like 10 degrees here in Northeast Ohio. And I listen to guys on the on the radio on the skip. I hear them down in Alabama, in the southern states. They're complaining that it's 25 degrees and it's horrible. But I, I'm sure it is for you guys down there. But to us, that's 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 a heat wave to 20 some degrees. Yeah, that's that's great. I wish it was that way right now. Now when it gets down to the teens here, no, that's cold. But yeah, I think it's it's pretty funny because you guys down down south, you never get any of that cold. Um, actually, I kind of feel bad for you, especially if you got pipes that break. So anyway, uh, when you have your new connector, I, I have a used one, but I'm going to use the new one. So on the new ones, there's going to be a really tiny Phillips right there, right on the side. You're going to need a little, little tiny Phillips screwdriver, 
and you don't want to lose that. That thing's a pain in the butt, man. I can't tell you how many times I lost it. So I'm going to find myself a nice, strong magnet. One of my hard drive magnets that I've got out of hard drives. If it sticks to it, which that one's brass. That's one of the good ones. Okay, so I'm going to stick this somewhere where I'm not going to lose it. Now, the same goes with uh, these here. They're a little bit bigger. But you can loosen them up. The easiest way is I like to loosen them up just enough before it comes off. Just like that. And you're going to want to pull this. This turns like that and pulls right off. And you're going to have that protector. Okay? So let me zoom back out. I'm going to bring this through just like that. Now, some of these, if you tighten them up, they'll still be, they won't tighten up on the rubber very well. So what you can do, if you have another one of these old cords laying around, or even this one, if you trim it, make a half moon. And then you can put the half moon in here and it gives it a little bit of a wedge so it won't slide when it's tight. Okay, so now I took this thing apart. When I took, it, uh, took the wires off, the red and the ground were together. We're going we're gonna to say that's shield. And some of these microphones will have another wire that runs uh, for the other side of the, the switch. So I'm going to go with that. I'm going to leave that together. If you're guessing here what the wire, without having to open up the microphone to look inside it. If you want to do a quick guess, more you know always, shield is going to be shield. And it's either yellow or white is going to be audio. That always is the case. Now, we're just, we're just doing this for fun. We're figuring, I can look this microphone up and, and do it the proper way. I can take it apart, look at the proper way. I'm just going to do it the way that all of us, all of us, we're just going to hurry up and try to wire a microphone up. We don't want to go through all that. We just want to do this. Or you're looking at an idiot like me on e uh, YouTube trying to figure it out. <laughs> so anyhow, uh, then you got blue and green, which I'm assuming well, these are odd colors. That one of them is transmit, one of them is receive. So this is what we're going to do. And not to mention these wires are really long. I'm going to trim this down at least halfway before I soldered the wires onto, the, onto this. So what we're going to do, now that I know this is your Cobra setup right here. Cobra unit in, president, so forth and so forth and so on. I plug this in. And then, uh, oh, let me take this back out so I can tell you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's tight. I mean, these new ones are always so tight. Now I'll put my, my uh, jeweler glasses on. Okay, you got one, two, three, and four. So, now what you're going to do is, and they're also marked up here, one, two, three, and four. So you always know that one is ground, two is audio, and then you have three, now, let me double check here, make sure I'm doing it right. Okay. And then you got three is transmit, four is receive. And that's how these are marked. Now, sometimes you get a, you can look it up on the internet. If it's a stock microphone, you know, like Cobras, there's white, there's ground, there's black, and there's red. So you know, then on this microphone, it doesn't, it doesn't, I almost forgot to put this on too. Uh -oh. So you just don't know. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to prep my thing here. Since I've never had solder on here before, I'm going to go ahead and put some uh, solder on the new 
fastener. New switch. You guys know the name of this. I know. I, I don't know the name of what this, this plug is actually called. And I'm sure you guys are like, oh my God, really? Dude, come on. I never paid attention. I guess I didn't care. I just knew that it worked. That's all. I need a plug. Plug a four pin. That's all I know it is. <laughs> all right. So now we got that prepped. 6040 solder, guys, is what I'm using there. Works pretty nice. I don't have to, and it's flux core. And I don't have to use the, put this stuff on it. Now, where I'm going to start with is the ground. This is how I'm going to tell with this one. If I'm trying to figure it out, I'm going to go ahead and hook up the ground. I'm going to redo this anyway. Those wires are too long. What I'm just doing is to test. All right, let's back up here. All right. Get my, my little tiny needle nose out here. Yeah, I'm going to grab a green one first. Get some little bit of darkness here. Let's see which one lights up the receive or transmit. Look at there, green receive. No kidding. So now that we know that green is receive, blue, it's got to be transmit. So let's check that. Let me set that blue one there. Come on, get on there. And it is. Okay, so now that we know blue is transmit, green is receive. And this has definitely got to be audio. All right, so let me uh, let me shorten these wires up, guys. Like I was showing you before, we're going to shorten them up so we can um, make this thing a little bit more neater. All right, and let me do that, and we'll be right back. And we're back. So you want to make sure to have your, I've done this before, guys. I've done it twice or maybe even three times or more where I've actually forgot to put this on. And I soldered the end on it. I, I yes, I've done it. Not even thinking. And also your, your protector. So make sure you got all that on. Now that we have it all soldered, ready to go. I've have all these prepped. I put the red and the silver, the red and silver, the red and um, shield together. And then I soldered the other wires, ready for them to go. All right, so what we're gonna do guys, I'm trying to keep it in frame here for you so you can see. All right, let's real quick. All right, we'll do the, We'll do the shield first. And we're gonna do the audio. All right. Green was received, right? Did I remember that right? Huh? Come on. Come on, man. Yep. So we'll do the blue. And last but least, we'll do the receive. Am I still in frame, guys? Sort of, huh? Okay, now what I'll do is I'll tell you guys here in a minute what an actual Cobra or unit in color wiring is and the, the, the numbers, if you wanna know. Okay, so, okay. Looks like that's all working now. Now let's put all this on, test it real quick. Let it back off. Microphone's gonna need cleaning. But to transmit and receive work. And now let's try the audio. Woo. 
Gonna have to take this mic apart anyway. It's pretty scratchy. Need some tuner cleaner. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna put this back on. Slide it right over just to protect like that so it doesn't short out against the housing. Now this, if you look, see that there? There's a little dot, just like playing Pac-Man. And then you turn it, there, there you go. <clears throat> now, remember that screw you're not supposed to lose? I lost it. No, I'm kidding. Here it is. Put that in. That way you're not going to lose it. Don't go over tight, guys. You'll end up breaking it's only plastic. And there you have it. Now we're down to a four pin. All right. Now this is ready to go on a, besides me taking this, I'm not gonna take this mic apart and this is the video aim for that. The, mic, the This video is just to wire up the mic. So now I'm gonna go ahead and clean up this mic, get it, uh, get the scratching to stop. I'm gonna use uh, the tuner cleaner that I have right here. That's what we're gonna use. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and, and get it cleaned up and ready to put on B-Bay today. So it's gonna later on today, I'll be on B-Bay. Um, here, let me get me, let me get the wiring, uh, the schematic for you so you know what it is for Cobra. All right, guys, I'm not gonna lie. I do have knowledge on it, but I do have a book. So for instance, this is for unit end presidents, Adams. It goes down the list, okay? And right here, number one, two, three, four, okay? And this is for your standard wiring hookup. This is your ecstatic, ecstatic microphones. That's your wiring diagram colors there. This is also for our static. Also tells you the, the colors. So Delta, Galaxy, and Tuner. That's your color codes for hooking up any of your unit in radios. And that goes with Cobras and all that other stuff. Of course, then you're going to get into your five pins. I'll just go slow if you want to pause it and take a look. Now, this helps you guys out. That's great. That's what I want. I want to be able to help you guys the best I can with the knowledge I have, which probably isn't that great sometimes, but hey, it helps. All right. Now, if you want, if, go ahead and message me. I'll, I'll look up some other ones here for you if you need to know, because this thing gives me all kinds of different radios. Okay. All right. Okay. Ready to go. So anyway, twice in one day, guys, hey, I had to do it. I thought it was such an easy thing to do. I wanted to show you in case someone out there wants to wire a power mic for the radio. And they kind of want to guess like just what I just did. So, all right, it's going to go on Flea Bay, B Bay, anything you want to call it here in about an hour. I'm going to edit this video and put it on right now so you guys can watch it. All right. So anyway, you guys have a good rest of the weekend. Oh, hey, right here, right there. Uh, wait, wait, right Right here, maybe, I gotta edit that. Right there, subscribe, also like. <laughs> All right guys, and if you're talking skip, have fun. Hopefully I can hear you guys out there, it'd be great. So we'll see you guys again soon. And hey, we'll see you next weekend. Uh, it's 10 degrees outside and freezing our butts off here for now, and then we'll get back into motor stuff in the spring. See you later, bye-bye. Well, if you're ever in Middlefield, Ohio, you want a nice little cafe, opens early in the morning till two. Middlefield Cafe and Diner, really good food, yummy.
good breakfast food player. Amish made. 